Okay, so hello, today we are going to build a really simple store and a really simple store in a Create React app application. So how to use React with Redux. My goal is to show you that it's not that hard if you want to set up a basic store. So at first you need to install Redux and React Redux. Okay, so npm install React Redux so you can just uh, install it with your terminal right there. Okay, new terminal and you just install it. So when it's installed, you can just go to index.js right there. And you need a provider to wrap your application and just give all the data from the store to your application. So import provider from React Redux. React Redux, it's important. And then you will just wrap everything like that okay and don't forget to put the comma right there so that's great but we do have one error because we need to feed our provider with the store so the provider will provide the state the the data to every component of our application so to create our store we need to import create store from Redux, not React Redux, just Redux. And then we need to create it. So const store equal create store like that. And then we are going to just uh, add right there a, a store props equal store. Okay, but it is working or not? Mm, it's not working. Why? Because create store right there is waiting for a reducer, a reducer. A reducer is a special function that we are going to use when we want to change the data from the store, okay? So we can create it uh, right there if you want, but it's not a really good uh, way of doing things, but uh, I will show you a, a better way just after that. But we can create it right there if, if we want. So const uh, basic reducer equal right there. And right there, I can just put some state if I want. So state and action. And I will return state right there. Okay, I will just return state. Oops, I forgot the arrow right there. Okay, so state, usually we are creating some const initial state, initial state. And I can put some hello data here if you want. Okay, so state equal initial state. Usually we are creating reducer like that. And now I can just feed my create star function with the reducer right there. And yeah, 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 perfect, perfect. We do not have an error because it's working, it's working. We are creating a store. We are feeding the store with a reducer. I mean, we are linking the store with a reducer, okay? And then we are wrapping all our application with the provider that will provide the state from the store. Okay, this is the basic implementation of Redux. But usually we are not uh, putting reducer inside of our index right there, okay? But I can show you that this is working if you want. So I can go on my app.js and I will import something to use that state. And that something is use selector from React Redux, indeed. Now I can just go there and say const state equal use selector and inside it I want a callback function that will serve me the state. And now I will just put the state there and the magic will happen. Happen, happen, will happen, yes, happen, happen. In French we do not say the, the H but whatever. Uh, so now store state Hello, hello, hello data right there. So yeah, this is coming from our store and this is coming from, yeah, this is just coming from there. So this is working actually, but it's a little bit dirty to do it uh, this way. So usually we are just creating some Redux folder and inside of the Redux folder, a registers folder because a lot of time there are a lot of registers, not only one but it's just for the sake of the example. And also a store.js file, okay? So now we can just take the store and put it on the store there. And we will 
take the import to so import create store okay and import um, just just create the register first so first we are going to add there the basic register that js okay and so you can put the reducer inside there and just export default basic reducer okay okay this is looking good and um, in our store right now i can import dot slash reducer slash basic reducer and i can feed uh feed it right there and i can export default store too and now i can just go there and i can just import store from dot slash redux slash store okay that's nice and tada this is working this is working what Bas basic register is not defined no 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 this is not oh yeah so indeed there you need to do a proper import so import basic register indeed from dot slash register basic register and it should be better yeah so just refresh and it's working and it's way more clean like that because a lot of time you have a lot of registers and you want to add a lot of register in the folder registers and also for the store right there this is a pretty simple store but you can use something like combine register when you have multiple register and you can use also the middleware if you want to do some api code for example so well you can do a lot of things right there so it's good to have one folder for the store too but you see that it's working and it's a basic implementation of Redux, Redux, Redux with React in a Create React App store. And then every time you just want to use the, sta the state, you just need to import use selector and you, is, you will select your state and you will uh, use it uh, as you want like that. Like that. So uh, you can also right there, just make it start with an object and for example, uh, takes the, some text. Usually we are using some uh, object or array in our state right there, okay? It's not some raw data. It, it can happen, but it's it's rare. So, okay, you have an object right there that is coming right there. It's returning the state. So the state is going into the store and then we can use it in our app.js. And so you can log it if you want, state. So it will be different. You see uh, that I just have an error uh, right there because um, it's just waiting for state.txt or text, txt or text, uh, where it is, yeah, txt, okay? It's waiting for the, the text right there. You can't put some random object into your uh, expression like that. So you can see that it's an object, up some text, you see it's an object and it's coming from our store. So it's working and you can just display it right there. And if you want to change the store's data, so the store's state, well, you need to use uh, the register and you need to trigger it to trigger it with use dispatch, uh, which is another uh, hook actually. So I think I will make another video for the trigger of our register. And then inside it, you have some conditions, some switch or some if else or whatever, and it will add some new state to the store and then you will use that new state in your components right there, okay? So yes, I think I, I will make another video on that subject. All right, so I hope you've understood me. Sorry for the grammar fault and the pronunciation and the awful French accent, but I hope it will get better over time, all right? So see you next time, bye.